Kondo bracelets were awarded on day 28 of the 2024 World Series of Poker. The day was packed with intense action and standout performances, particularly from the Indian contingent. The atmosphere crackled with excitement at the Horseshoe in Paris, Las Vegas, as day 2 of event number 54 Millionaire Maker NLG kicked off. Among the 2,381 returning players, only 315 players survived the day's onslaught and Sebastian Seguin sees the day and chip lead, boasting a formidable 2.615 million chips. India's poker prowess was on full display, with four players advancing from the initial 19, who survived one of the three starting flights to reach day two. Ankit Ahuja leads the chart with an impressive 1.51 million chips, securing the 40th largest stack and positioning himself for another deep run. But the real underdog story of the day belonged to Navkiran Singh, CEO of Poker Basi, who started day two with a meager 35,000 chips, but battled his way to a respectable 755,000 chips by day's end, almost the average stack. Young Kansanath Mehrotra and Kunal Panjwani also proved their mettle, bagging 720,000 and 360,000 chips respectively. While day two marked the end of line for many, it marked a significant achievement for Indian players who reached the money. Kunal Patni, WSOP bracelet winner Karthik Ved, Ankit Vadhavan, Anju Abrol, Dipankar Gupta, Pavan Bansal, Anshul Kulshestra, WSOP bracelet winner Aditya Sushant, and Ashish Ahuja all added their names to the payouts list. The tension is palpable as the most prestigious mixed game tournament at the WSOP, event number 58 Poker Players Championship, inches closer to crowning its next champion. Day 2 concluded with a dramatic field reduction, leaving only 29 elite players from the original 89 entries still vying for the coveted gold bracelet. James Obst, a two time WSOP bracelet winner, maintained his dominance from day 1, solidifying his chip lead with a commanding 1.961 million chips. The first day of event number 59, Super Seniors NLHG shattered expectations, attracting a record-breaking 3,362 entries, all aged 65 or older. Day 1 concluded with 975 players still in the hunt, and David Goodkin emerged as the early frontrunner, amassing a dominant stack of 349,500 chips, putting him in a prime position for a deep run. The poker world was abuzz as day one of event number 60 NLHG concluded. A colossal feat of 1,441 players answered the call, but with late registration open until the second level of day two, the numbers are set to climb even higher. As day one drew to a close, the spotlight shone on China's Yang Feng Wang and Brazil's Jose Ferreira, who emerged as the joint chip leaders with an impressive 369,000 chips each. India's poker contingent arrived in full force, with seven Indian players successfully navigating the day one gauntlet. Yashin Dodanavar, riding the wave of his recent success in event number 44 NLHG, emerged as the Indian ship leader with a formidable 146,000 chips. He's joined by a host of other talented Indian players, including WSOP bracelet winner Abhinav Ayer, Kunal Patni, young Ankor of Sooth, Sriharsha Dodabeneni, poker pioneer Aditya Agarwal, and Anshul Kulshestra. The poker world witnessed history in the making as day one of event number 61 star Omaha 8 or better smashed attendance records, drawing a staggering 507 players to the felt. As the dust settled, 189 players remained standing, led by Joseph Shamis, who emerged as the early front runner, his chip stack towering at 266,000. That's it for the day 28 update. Keep following Poker Guru for daily updates from the 2024 WSOP. Thank you.